about so many challenges, but of course we are fired up. <laughs> we who believe in communities uh, are not um, defeated by that. We continue because we know it's so powerful. So what we understand is that though that is that it can be overwhelming it can feel overwhelming and there is a learning curve which is like it will always be there one way or another so it's important to notice that it's not the, the disappearance of power it's a new form of power mm -hmm. which of course uh, threatens or challenges established forms of power so we probably need to help them understand how uh, their power is not actually disappearing, but transforming. But I would really encourage uh, organizations to look at where the energy already is. Uh, if you assume that nothing exists and that you will you know, download on people, an infrastructure, a community management system, etc. Again, you lose an opportunity to build on what exists, to leverage, to empower people. And so you maintain, in a way, um, a very traditional way of doing things where a few people decide for the larger group what is good for them. Mm -hmm. And if we keep doing that, even in the, in the field of communities, we will never change things because you will maintain people in a passive state of mind uh, a few are active at the top or in some expert you know field and everybody else is just consumer and that's not what you want for modern companies for uh, to, to deliver value in our very very complex time we need everybody to be an actor and i would even go to activist <laughs> we need to be activists of something of a purpose that we have in common that is that is serving the company's interest of course but that is bigger than that, uh, and that can talk to people, you know, from a, from an emotional standpoint. So, where really, I mean, what is critically important is to model the kind of result you want to achieve. If you set up a community in a hierarchical, controlled way, you will only get hierarchy and control, nothing else. Yeah. So I'm going to wrap this. We're doing here at the moment, working remotely or telework has been a choice for a few, and a reality for most of us in the last month. But very soon, over 50% of the workforce will become agile, I've heard this new term, 21st century artisans. And we will work from any place, which, by the way, has been a reality for global organizations already before the pandemic. Although only 10% in the U.S. were working from home and only 40% of employees have been allowed yeah. to work from home. So there's a big shift. So now we know we can technically do almost any task we did in the office uh, at any place. But can we build our culture? Can we innovate? Can we collaborate? Can we argue, laugh, and celebrate as much as we could in person in a room? I think if your organization has an advanced community, yeah, that strength of our community will tell us if we will succeed in a more virtually connected world. And I can see community performance displays in the cockpit of CEOs um, and the community work we do today will be the fundament and the foundation for your organization that they will rely on. Pretty exciting vision. I mean, so many executives struggle with getting real information of what's going on in their company um, because all they get are the green light traffic reports, which are always perfect and every project is on track. And maybe there's a yellow because you don't want to look too green. Um, but really, this gives them an opportunity to connect to real employees and find out what's really going on because, I mean, at the end, they want to be more successful or they want the company to be more successful. Um, and yes, this means maybe being more open than they usually are, but this will give them the actually the information they need to run the company better.